we're going to be looking at the product of two numbers, and we're going to be trying to find the minimum product of two numbers whose difference is 8. We're asked to find not only the product, but also the numbers that yield this product. Let's start by familiarizing ourselves with the problem situation, and we'll do that by just letting x and y be the numbers. Now we know that their difference is 8. So in the translate step, we know, for example, if x is the larger one, that x minus y is 8. Or x is y plus 8. Now we're trying to find the product of the numbers. So the product is, or the minimum product, the product is x, y, so where I have an x, I'm going to put y plus 8. Or y squared plus 8y. Now, instead of doing a solve step, I'm going to rename my third step carry out because I'm not really solving an equation. I am trying to find the minimum value of, of a function. So I'm looking to find the minimum value of p, where p equals y squared plus 8y. I'm going to do this by completing the square. I want to add half of 8, which is 4, squared, which is 16. I can't just add 16. I have to add it and then subtract it, which means I've basically added 0. And then I factor the first part as y plus 4 squared and then I have minus 16. Now notice I can write this as p equals y minus a negative 4 squared minus 16. I'll write it that way so that I can read the vertex. The vertex is negative 4 from here, negative 16 from here. This tells us the minimum product is negative 16, and this occurs when y is negative 4. Now, y was related to x by x was y plus 8. So if x, if y equals negative 4, then x equals negative 4 plus 8, or 4. So when I go to check, I am checking the possible answers. I have the numbers 4 and negative 4, and the minimum product negative 16. Now these numbers have a difference of 8, and that's correct. It's difficult to check if that's the minimum product. We could try some other, other numbers who have a difference of 8, uh, say, 0 and 8. Their product 0, and that's larger than negative 16. No matter what numbers we try that have a difference of 8, we would find that, the min that none of them have a product that is less than negative 16. So this is the minimum product. These are the numbers we want. And we state the answer. The minimum product is negative 16. The numbers 4 and negative 4 yield this product.